I didn't have any confidence in my 20s. I didn't really like myself that much in my 20s. That's why I drank a lot in my 20s. And alcohol, the reason was alcohol will give you confidence. And I know that for a fact, because one time when I was drunk, I invited a woman back to my apartment when I knew I didn't have electricity. <laughs> Yeah, she came too, or she didn't come, but she like showed up and then left. You guys know what I mean. That's not even the most embarrassing thing I ever did in my 20s. This is totally true. One time while I was having sex with a woman, I said to her, I can't believe you're letting me do this right now. Yeah, I know. Have you ever seen someone realize they made a mistake while you're inside of them? No. I, don't, I don't know what the opposite of getting wet is, but I definitely did that for her, so that was kind of cool. I guess I feel like a magician. I was like, where well, once there was a river, now there's a desert. I actually said to die at the end. It was pretty fucked up. I feel bad for people in their 20s. The 20s is the hardest period in your life. Nobody tells you that. The 20s is the roughest period in your life. Your 20s is like a second puberty, but instead of getting hair in your balls, you have to learn how to pay your own vision and dental. It's bullshit. <laughs> it's so hard. Like when you're in your 20s and you go through a breakup, you're like, oh my God, my life's over. I don't know what I'm gonna do. When you're in your 30s and you go through a breakup, you're like, oh my God, I need a new fucking mattress. <laughs> Like when I was in my 20s and I, like, I was so poor and broke living in New York City, starting out in stand-up comedy, my room was so small, I couldn't have a regular size bed in there. I had to have a bunk bed. Yeah, try being 26 and picking up a woman with a bunk bed. <laughs> She'd be like, hey, you wanna go back to your place? And I'd have to be like, hey, are you afraid of heights? <laughs> and you can't have crazy wild sex in a bunk bed. That shit's not happening. There's only two positions, sideways and disappointed. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, like if a girl has to get on top, that means I'm underneath a bed jerking off. <laughs> I used to tell women too that I had a loft bed, but then they thought we were going back to make love in my loft apartment. When the truth is they were about to get side fucked in what used to be somebody's coat closet. <laughs> also, 20 year old dudes in here, I wanna give you a piece of advice. Cause I had a hard time with women in my 20s and I wanna tell you this cause I want a woman to fuck you more than once, right? <laughs> Yeah, because here's the thing. If you're a 20 year old man and you're in here, there is a device that you can buy that you can keep in your bedroom that will greatly increase the chances of a woman having an orgasm and it will greatly increase her chances of her coming back to have sex with you again. And it's a very simple device. You can get it anywhere and it's called a bed frame. <laughs> yeah. You hear that? Those are some women who fuck some starving artists right there. <laughs> Get yourself, get your fucking mattress off the floor. No woman wants to be fucking a dude whose mattress is on the floor. Look, and I'm not even saying that shit needs to be like West Elm. Get fucking four center blocks and a piece of plywood. Yeah, yeah. They'll be like, he has goals, he has aspirations, he has hopes. No woman wants to be banging a dude and be reminded how close she is to her bottom both physically, emotionally, and mentally. <laughs> the song, The Wheels.